<laughs> All right. So forgive me right now. We're live. We're hot right now. And if you look around, we got people that's on location right now. What we have is that we have Knight Rider, aka Frog. Y'all probably seen him down, you know, in the in Louisiana. He is undercover behind enemy lines, supporting the team and possibly got that funeral music ready for a certain somebody that may not make it out of ATL. He may have to take the bus home, okay? But, but, we'll get into that. His daddy got a lot of plays. He okay. (laughs) He okay. He's okay. But right here, this is what y'all been waiting for, because she ain't been, she don't know nobody. She ain't been around so long. Her stardom got, got her head way too big. She over there on Champagne Confessions. Yeah. Tune in, subscribe, and if you got problems or whatever, she'll help you out. She is definitely the GM. She is Miss Maggie Fontenot, and I'm still here. I ain't traded. So mm-hmm. guess what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it ain't the end of the season yet, we're, sir. We're, we're talking contract <laughs> now. Now, right now. <laughs> if, if you push us to the playoffs, possibly we might, you know, consider some negotiations. <laughs> we might end up being the Night Rider show next season. I'm talking about playoffs. Listen, listen, listen. I'm, 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 <laughs> not, that I'm not that way. I'm not that way. I'm not that way. He called me, but this is Maggie's flu game. <laughs> I'm going. I'm on work, <laughs> location. I'm working. <laughs> hustling, bustling. She Damn. is working. And, and if you go anywhere near that stadium, it is a $20 cover charge. Maggie, go ahead and move to the side so people can see how much it costs to park down there. Go ahead and point it at $20. That's for the day. Game day is about $50, $60. Whoa. Well, oh, damn. Well, actually, that's pretty well, cheap, actually. That's actually. Well, let's not. Let's not let, let's not satisfy your bosses too much, uh, Maggie. It's been a while. We missed you. How how are you feeling today? I'm good. Yeah, I had um COVID uh, about a week ago, and um actually it wasn't too bad. I had like the fevers from like the that Saturday, that, no Friday or Saturday. But other than that, I'm back to me negative again. And like it's getting real out there, people. It's cold. Y'all yeah. wash some hands. Do what you need to do and. Practice what y'all been doing because the flu and everything is going around right now. But I'm good. Oh, man. You know what, Maggie? I think I probably had the same thing. Get some black seed oil. I was sick too, so you already know. in the house. Black seed oil. Well, black seed oil, sea moss. I think it was not right. Black seed oil, sea moss. I think it was not right. Night Rider hang out everywhere. Night Rider hang out everywhere. He ain't catch no COVID or nothing like that. Fake news. He, was he was sick, and he I really I put two and two bad. together. I was like, I had last seen Night Rider at uh, Play of the Mayor, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was like two days out of Christmas. I can't go ahead and stop by like right after, right she before. Said, it's your fault, Night Rider. Right? She got that was your fault, Night Rider. You, you, you want me to tell you why I think I got that shit from? Because I was on the damn Marta train with all the motherfuckers. Uh, oh, so now I understand. Y'all wanted me to take the train, try to take me out. That's what it was. Uh, that's what it was. No, 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 we can, you can wear your damn ass on the train, sir. Don't even try it. I, I, I didn't do it. I didn't give a damn. He ain't going to wear no mask. <laughs> uh, no, I'll be outside. I'll be outside. But I won't wear no mask either, so don't, I ain't even going to blame him either. We already dude. know where you've been at. We already know where you've been at. If you follow, yeah. if you follow yeah. this woman, she's been everywhere. she been everywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now, you know, I'm out there yeah. living life, single life. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm standing on business. That's right, Harvey. <laughs> you know what, Harvey? Stop shooting your shot. Because all she do come in here, she ruined my show every last time. And whatnot. Don't Don't come here. Don't <laughs> after, after, look, after I was really interrupted, and on and I, on I, want, I, want, I want a piece of ant for one specific reason. He goes out there. And, st- and speaking of standing on business, and can you please show me like your your left shoulder? I think it was like your, your left or your right shoulder, man. I, I got a I got on a long sleeve shirt, so I can't do that right now. 
He oh, can't okay. flex okay. today. You got to get oh, naked, man. You got to get naked. That, that, that's for Ants OnlyFans. Subscribe if you saw it and whatnot. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, hell no. 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 Not doing that. No, no, no. That's the man house. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. But, but Ant, go ahead, go ahead and introduce yourself. The big nose tap. He got, he got his show with <laughs> art and whatnot. Congratulations on the art, bro. Oh. You know. Y'all, y'all already know I'm a Falcons fan for life. I don't give a damn if we win, lose, draw, whatever. I'm here for life. So y'all. Ten toes down. <laughs> All day long. Y'all. Now, if you ever heard of Al Al Roca, we got people from good from, from good good morning America. Well, we got our own guy that's on location. Again, he's behind enemy lines. You may know him as Frog. You see him out there. He's out there COVIDless. Somehow he doesn't catch COVID because I think he's bionic. I think he's bionic. So what we have over there is we got our boy Knight Rider. Knight Rider. What's up, what's up, brother? Where you at right now? Oh, Agent Cat, Snake, Chicken, Ducks. I go by the name of Knight Rider, and I am live on location right here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm in the middle of the shit. I'm in the Thunderdome right now. Let me tell y'all something. Shout out to everybody that came through Razzle last night, all the Falcons fans. Y'all going to see the pictures. Shout out to Auntie Pamela, Miss Pamela Johnson. Y'all already know I was with her Friday. Man. It, 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 it's it, it, it's like a whole vibe down here, bro. If anybody ever tell you that Falcon fans don't travel, you better look at them telling you, look, you a goddamn lot. Falcon fans mm-hmm. travel. We is here. They, they, I'm talking, we out in droves. It was, as soon as I walked out my hotel today, bro, I seen nothing but Falcon fans walking down Canal Street. I seen nothing but Falcon fans last night on Bourbon Street. We all came to West <laughs> We were old Atlanta all night, man. We were I was talking to somebody about going to the five five nine last night, but it was on and popping. It's a whole vibe. If you've never been to New Orleans for a Saints game, I highly recommend you make a trip for it. I highly recommend this shit, man. We don't play at all. At all. What's up? We got uh What's up, Reggie? What's up, uh, ATA? What's up, Red Swarm? We, I'm about to get to y'all elites, you know, but we got we got a full house today, so I got to introduce yeah. and reintroduce some people just in case you forgot. Now, yeah. I'm I'm gonna be right I, I, I got to get ready to go to the game in a minute, man. We got about... Ain't no forget Maggie got, now. Seven Ain't minutes. Ain't no forget Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta, yeah. Don't yeah. forget. Now, above me, what we got? We got Coach who had to clear his throat, but he's okay right now. He ain't got nothing. Coach, <laughs> what is the temperature... And what are you eating today, man? Water. No, I ain't. I'm just drinking water. I am. It's 36 degrees right now. Cloudy. You said, you said what, what's the temperature? 36 and cloudy. 36 and cloudy. So if y'all think y'all know cold, that is cold. That's warm. Whoa, whoa, damn, damn warm. Don't do that. What you got? Nah, see, see, he'll be down here walking like them folk that be walking with T-shirts and shorts on. Uh, I've seen at the college. Um, oh, the Chick Fil A. Wait a minute. Hey, check this out. Since you want to know some weather, it's actually pretty straight down here. Down here, it is fifty-one and fair in New Orleans, Louisiana, but it still stinks like hell. That's freak. Oh well, you know what? That's freak Nick weather. What you say? I don't know, man. You know, he, what is he, that freak Nick weather? He on that. He on that shit. You know what? Let me keep going. Let me keep going. We got one of the OGs here. Will, what's up, brother? How you feeling? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> he gonna talk now. <laughs> he, 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 he don't mince words. Now we gonna, <laughs> we, we gonna get we gonna That's get into the we gonna get into the elites. Now, of course, he had to regain pole position. We got our boy Andrew G, who's been here since last week. He don't log out. He don't do anything like that. He's been sitting there tented out. Last since last week, we got eight one thirty seven sauce. We got ATLF. I guess that's trim trimming. Trimming. If I did it, tr- tr- <laughs> he might be from New Orleans or something. Oh God, we got trauma locks. We got Gemini man. We got JP. We got ATL Leo. That's, oh, that's yeah. my boy. But you know, sometimes you know he be, he be on that shit. You know what it is. Yeah. We got Terrell Thomas. Told about hey, how Kamara many, how many people- this game. Kamara's out. How many people in? Kamara's how many out. people in the comments are in New Orleans? If you in New Orleans, 
Put a one in the comments and let me there know. Go. I got I, I gotta run into some people, man. If you hear got we got the other, we got the other, the other auntie. We got Sonya Howell, we got Harvey Free, we got D Coleman, who didn't even yeah. wait. Because every time that he sees Maggie, he gotta act up. Okay. We got Robert Ponder. <laughs> That's right. You already, you already know what it is. We got Terrence Holmes. We got Reggie 2K, Prince Kell 89, Red Swarm. We got, uh, let's see. I think I got everybody right here. Oh, we got D'Angelo Pelsey. Yeah, so Stay yeah. in for my boy. Where's the million dollar man, uh, Dame DiBiase? I don't know where he's at, but we got somebody here that talk about, it's about whatever. We got snow up here in Pittsburgh. Y'all talk about 36 degrees. Come on, man. And Dion Sanders' voice is yeah, real up there. Come on, man. man. Yeah, man, on. that snow, hey. <laughs> you can keep that snow. <laughs> Shout out to Tales Leo, Sports Leo. Gaming, man. Tales Sports Gaming, he in the building. Yeah. No, ACL Leo, he, I swear he told about he go to church and whatnot, just like a certain somebody also says, claim that she's all holy and dignified and whatnot, and starts saying some other stuff. We all know who she is, but I ain't going to oh, say Oh, that's a problem. You down here in New Orleans? I don't know what it is. He right, said, yeah, I'm here. I let your boy, man. <laughs> Yeah, go say check, go check your boy out. 51 degrees is baby making weather. Well, make don't have no babies Whoa. you can't afford. Don't have no babies you can't afford, all right? <laughs> night rider, you hear that? We only know little night riders. Not night rider, night rider guy. No, no, night rider no, guy. No, 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 ain't no, ain't no, no, night rider. Ain't no, no. You got eight <laughs> babies by eight different women, wow. all in the DR. All Whoa. in the DR. I know you not. No, the hell I damn no. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. got a family pack of raincoats. Hell no. Y'all just got that putting babies on me that I ain't got. No, don't do that. Night, don't do that. Night Rodder got a got Night Rodder got a starting five down there in DR, man. He know it. He can't don't he do cannot don't do that. resist the BBLs. He can't resist the BBLs. But if you like BBLs, you got BBLs. Shut up. No. If you talk about BBLs, we can't resist. It's time to pay the bills. BBLs, you know not right. It's time to pay the bills. Go ahead and say it, man. Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ladies, this portion of the show <laughs> is brought to you by Manscaped, the premier product for male grooming. Y'all know we just got through with the new year, but I hope y'all crop the top before the ball drop. So y'all make sure y'all Check them people out at manscaped.com. You put in the promo code <laughs> AFB, you get 20% off your order, and you will get free shipping. I know you love free shit, man. I love free shit. Everybody love free shit. So make sure you do what y'all got to do. Talk to them people at Manscaped. Tell them Night Rider sent you. Remember, you trim it down. She won't front. She keep it clean. She won't be me. Manscaped. And so, if somebody walked up to me in the club New Orleans night, we told them they right here. Let it whip, Julie Flip Magnus. Do your thing, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't, Damn, that's the whole celebrity. Bumping, bumping conversations with Pastor Troy. He even remembered the night in uh, Red and Black Party. So, out hey, there being a yeah. celebrity. No, I was at the I was at the dish party yesterday. Pastor Troy was like, "Man, y'all, that, that little bitch y'all had, but that bitch was live in here." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." We try to do he it again, y'all. He came through. Yeah, we we'll definitely try to do it again. Got to do it again. You know what? So, got to look out for the fundraisers yeah. and things like that. Yeah, start donating to the cash app. Um, we got a letter Falcons go fund me. Look, we trying to make it big for the next for this year coming. You know, so it's gonna be right before preseason. Or maybe around that time, around that time frame, so it's gonna be high. So y'all get ready. I swear, I hate him so bad. I hate him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold and I, you gotta tell look between me and you and about the seventy people here. Come on now. I mean, look at I ain't man. I ain't gonna pay for something I can give for free. Whoa. There we go. So he about got eight of them. Eight. <laughs> he got eight of them. <laughs> hey, look at. I hey, I, 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 I have a raincoat too, just so you know. But we ain't gonna oh, get into good. all that right well, now. You know what? I ain't trying to get canceled <laughs> right now. We got, we, got, go. we got the general manager here. We got man, the general man. manager here right now, man. Okay, go get into that right there. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Since since we out here talking about our feelings, get in touch with our feelings right now. Let me start this shit off with that. Don't do that, Ant. Don't do that, Ant. Let me start this shit off right there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to start out. Sums up our season. When D. Alford 
ran the damn field goal back and he tripped over his oh, own man. Shit. That sums up my damn season. <laughs> Oh, that's some of my goddamn season. Can't get out of our own damn way. That sums oh. it up. So Am I right? Saying that you saying that everything looked good until we tripped over our own feet. Well, he tripped over Zach Harrison's feet. It wasn't his feet. It was Zach. <laughs> you tripped over your own man feet. Well, the man okay. hit man so Friendly fire. Friendly fire. Friendly fire. But but normally normally here on the regulators we got to have ladies go first. So. Ideally, Maggie got to take point on this. Go ahead, go ahead, Mag. The way I feel about the season right now is the way that Arthur Smith be looking on the sideline like. Really? He's a walking meme. Oh, I'm, he, just, he that. Oh, I'm he over here like, like today, there. you know, this is supposed to be a must win, but it's like, we don't even know what our destiny holds right now. I don't even know if I even care for them to get in the playoffs, to be honest. I mean, it'll be great, but realistically, I don't see them going anywhere with that. I mean, let's just keep it real. So it'd be nice to beat the skanks, though. You know, that's 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 how we're supposed to do it. But I don't see nothing else happening. So I'm kind of like, whatever at this point. <laughs> whatever. Whatever happens, happens, y'all. Jerome said, Maggie, I, I see y'all here, too. He's asking you out there loaded trucks. If we lose this game, we want to stage rap and shit off Smith <laughs> to Daddy at FedEx. Sure, I'm right by the stadium though. So just letting y'all know. I'm right by the stadium then. Y'all got them gas cans and everything else. We can walk right on up there. Wow. Hey, we gonna ship we gonna ship him to Washington where he can go to damn the headquarters up there, FedEx field. <laughs> well, man, I see you, I see you, I see you shaking your head. I guess that's that's, that's, that's your thoughts on the season. Oh, we we've been fumbling the bag all season. <laughs> we have a firm grip, right? Firm grip, and then <laughs> oh, firm grip, manscape. Oh my god, manscape. <laughs> <laughs> Please Damn. pay the bills when you say those double meanings. Please pay the bills now. <laughs> go go, go pay the goddamn bills. <laughs> go ahead, man. Nah, but. I mean, we had the season right there in our hand, and then because of certain players, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm not even, I'm not gonna go there because I'm tired of spewing <laughs> I'm tired of spewing out that BS out of my mouth. Oh, yes, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for all, for all, for all the, you know what, Ed, I'm gonna help you out right now. I'm gonna help you out right now. I might have for, all the, for all the ladies that's in the chat right now, okay, this might get me canceled. But for all the ladies that's in the chat right now, all of that, <laughs> that that's on Ant's face, that's not his facial hair. There we go. All right, go ahead, Ant. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> so we taking shots today. Okay. Ant, okay. I'm, I'm trying to okay. help you out, so, Ant. We start. We hey. starting 2024 off right. Cause I look, you've been taking shots at me, and cause I said that your Braves oh, going to win. Don't, the don't see me in the back alley, so I, I got hollered. Oh <laughs> <laughs> see, you see, Mag is going to get traded. Now he's taking shots. You know what, Coach? Coach, save, save, save the show, Coach. What is, what is what is your thoughts on on this season? Cause ACL don't know how to act, man. My, I hate that. <laughs> My thoughts in this season is I have no thoughts. That's the way it's made. <laughs> I have no thoughts. That's pretty much me right there. Like it's oh. like <laughs> damn we do, damn we don't. <laughs> That's how it is. It's damn oh, we no. do. The thought on the season is just one word. Damn. <laughs> damn. That's it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just I see it on this air. Damn. It's just a season. It's just a season. We we're just here right now because it didn't go the way we yeah. expected to go. I think we I think we we over thought how the season was gonna go. Anyway, I said we all are guilty of that. We thought we would be better, but we're not. Yeah. We thought we thought Arthur Smith would have everything under control, <sighs> and he did not. We thought the quarterback would play would be better, and it was not. So it's like. Whatever, <laughs> right now, my thing right now is just win the game playoff. I, I, I always said I didn't want to go to playoff, I always said that I just want to beat the Saints. 
Simple as that. So we go to playoff. What do you expect? Cool. Everybody says it's a new season. Mm. Is this team ready for the playoff? I, I no. don't know. I don't think we're ready for playoffs. So, but yeah, no. it, it, but you never know. You never damn know. You never damn know. Yeah, you never damn know. Maybe Arthur Smith will get it right. They were gone, like you know. Maybe, maybe some kind of miracle would happen. Well, we can all play. Arthur <laughs> Smith needs a quarterback coach. He needs a quarterback coach. Fuck Blake Pierce. He needs a quarterback coach. We got, we got a coach. dream, y'all. I have a dream. That's the. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Everybody keeps saying we need a quarterback coach, right? Oh, oh, oh. You can always say the quarterback coach is the problem. The quarterback still has to distribute the ball. But co- coach, but, it doesn't, but it doesn't I, I mean, honestly, I'm, coach, I'm, 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 but, but, I don't think the quarterback but coach, coach. Go ahead, go ahead, Max. But coach, I mean, we you 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 drive you drive a rig right at mm-hmm. your job, right? Mm-hmm. But have you ever driven? Uh, like you know, like a bus or me operate a train that you're not trained for. I ain't driving no train. No, I'm talking about me. They might, right, 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 right. you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. It's like, trained, they're, not, yes. they're not gonna put you in a position to not succeed for for a job as as correct. delicate as what we do. You know what I mean? Correct, correct. So correct. I don't think Des had the had the um the the, the yeah. proper you know right. resources to be successful. I understand that. Yeah, you're right. You know, however, you know, there's however. still somebody in his ear. There's always somebody on that sideline. That's working with this. But it ain't always, all punk ass. It, it, it hasn't always. Well, yeah, it has been going, but. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all better remember, David Gone was a quarterback. Now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that he, he was, was a, a bad one. Coach. Coach. He was a bad. He was a bad one, coach. He, he, um, he got he got picked up by a team. Bam, bam. <laughs> he didn't play, but he got picked up by a team. Now, Rob, you finna get uh the pink slip. <laughs> but yeah, um, it it. it <laughs> But the quarterback still had to be more cautious with the ball. I understand that. I, I do yeah. understand that. But the, they were going to say take the step and fumble it. Hey, even though he got to be more cautious with the ball, coach, Arthur yeah. Smith got to put him in position to succeed, too. You can't have this man dropping back six plays in a row trying to throw a 30 yard route. Well, the Get the ball out of his hand quick. Get the ball out of his hand quick. Throw some slant. Throw some up and under. Throw some in the round. Get get get, get out of the hand quick, bro. Let your playmaker yeah, do what he do. That's how that's how CJ Scroud succeeded up there. But that's how they go into the playoffs. That's how they won two games. But sometimes y'all say the playmaker get the ball. We talked game last night, bro. I'm just saying. I'm, you know how I'm gonna feed it like that. My word to sum up the season is, who the hell are we? That's what I sum up the season. With. Who are we? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we had a top 10 defense for most of the season, but we had several games this year where we couldn't close out the game. We had plenty yeah. games where yeah, I'm still getting knocked on. Hey, man, look, man, look. B. John Robinson is a great talent. He's going to be good in his NFL. But we had games out here where Arthur Smith did made this man the piece instead of a piece. No, you add that man to the puzzle, man. Don't make him the puzzle. You had a thousand yard back already. You had a thousand yard receiver in Kyle Pitts already. You make that man a piece, not the piece. He's a tight end. He's still a, okay, okay. A, a catcher of the ball. A catcher of the ball. A catcher of the ball. But so, now, I mean, you got, it was one got, person that said this shit early. The Falcons. I'm saying this the, the Falcons offense right now is a that, that shiny toy on Christmas morning that you get, but it ain't got no batteries. Your quarterback is the oh, battery. Shit. <laughs> well, uh Juan, it's been a long time for you for you as well. Welcome back, brother. Um, I got a question for you, which we're asking the panel because I know you uh, you came in a little late, so I'm gonna ask you the question. Um you got to sum up your feelings on this on this season. Possibly another 10, 10 loss season. Um, you know, go ahead and sum it up, man. Uh, is is what the fuck possible? If we on. don't do our job, but at the end of the day, we played. You see, you see, you see, uh, you, <laughs> you see, see, see the name. <laughs> so well, we gonna say now, nah, now, nah, now nah, we gonna say we gonna say we gonna say whatever and keep going. We're going to say whatever and keep mm. going. Thanks for trying. Go ahead, go, go ahead and finish your talk. We'll, we'll, we'll double back. 
We'll, but, we'll uh, double back. We'll double back. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, we played. We played below. We played below our expectations for the season. That's what we did. Um, I blame everybody. No one person gets the blame. I blame everybody because the coaches made bad decisions. The offensive coordinator made bad decisions. The players didn't execute. Everybody's to blame because it's a team sport. You can hang your hat on one person that you particularly don't care for. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But everybody is to blame because at the end of the day, Hey, each job is a part of a machine. It's a part. This is Atlanta Falcons team. This ain't the Atlanta Arthur Smiths. This ain't the Atlanta Arthur Blanks. This ain't the this ain't the Atlanta Desmond Ritters. This ain't the Atlanta uh, Taylor Heineke. It's the Atlanta Falcons. Everybody's at fault. You know what I'm saying? And when people yeah. compare this team to the Texans, you got a you got a head coach that has experience, and everybody did their job to get those ten wins. Because without the offensive line doing their job, C.J. Stroud, as we saw, is just is just a man getting hit. Without his perimeter players mm-hmm. catching, making you know what I'm saying, making catches, or out his running backs making good good runs, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Without, without the defense stop making stops, it doesn't work. Everybody want to pick and choose what part of the team they don't like to say that's the problem. That no, it's a complete team problem. Because at the end of the day, does one man win the trophy or does the whole team win the trophy? Does one man whole lose team. the game or does the whole team lose the game? Because even when one oh, man yeah. calls it, yeah, because when one man, guess what? When one man <laughs> makes a mistake, the whole team is still out on the field. Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But just because the media says, well, the quarterback and the coach, they get most of the blame because they out front. What are they supposed to? The CEO, if a CEO of a company don't do well, guess what? He's at fault. Because he's the head. He takes the blame. But it's yep. parts in his company that don't work to contribute to that fail. Period. We got to get out this mindset of picking and choosing what? No, the team failed. That's why I asked the question on my show last night. If we make the playoffs, now what? Because guess what? Nobody has the answer to what next. Everybody's got the answer to, oh, well, we, we failed. Well, another season. Because everybody expects this team to lose. I hate to be the bad, bad news. You can call yourself a Falcon fan or not. 85 to 95% of us expect this team to lose. That's the expectation. Winning is just a, ooh, that's a cherry on top. We won. So let's be Hey, and it's still triple. We it's still win. triple back up. <clears throat> it's still triple back up to Arthur you know Smith. Terry, Terry Fontenot gave you wait, the ingredients. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, for a good barbecue, you sat there with playing domino, forgot the meat was on the grill. Oh, yeah. That's what was going on. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got this, Will. I get it. You don't like Arthur Smith, and I get it. You've been on his neck. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. We got to take like where I had back Arthur Smith. I back Dave Marilla all season long, bro. But I'm going to be real with what I see. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. And, and, I, and, I, and I got that, but my, my thing is this. You have said more times than not, he is at fault. We get that. He's the head. He's the head coach. But he doesn't play quarterback. He don't play running back. He don't play tight end. He don't. He don't. He don't play defensive line. He don't play in the DB room. You know what I'm saying? He ain't in the front office all the time. Everybody is at fault. Everybody. Hey, he, do control, he do control. the starter though. Right? We got some breaking news, people. We got breaking news. I think we got some breaking news, people. All day. Uh, it looks like uh, Desmond Ritter is in. I know. I knew it. I knew it. I well, knew it. Obvious. That was obvious. <laughs> yeah, no, that was obvious. Looks like Desmond Ritter is uh, QB1 today. That's obvious. Uh, I don't know why I that's that. Oh, Desmond started today? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Engine, I just right, engine number nine. Oh, yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody look it up and uh, confirm that real quick. I got it right here. I'm looking look, at look, it. Look, look. Okay. Look, look. But look, let's, 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 let, me, let, me, let me acknowledge the hold on, hold on, Martin. Let me acknowledge the ten dollars super he chat. Had a he had a mental meltdown, and they not. Yeah, Hyde like is inactive. So yeah, damn, damn story. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, they don't get that chat. They don't get that super chat real quick. Let me get super chat. It's a red swarm said. It's sad to me to see how our OC's inability to call successful games has us as fans turning on our players, like. Bijan and Kyle Pitts is just sad. It's a fair point. 
That's a fair point. It makes total it sense. Yeah. But um, go go makes ahead. Makes a whole um, lot of sense. Out. Make a whole lot of sense. It, it makes a lot of sense, Will. It makes Maybe. a lot of sense. Yeah, they do. But but yeah, it also but, like, but also in the, same, in the same. But yeah. But like I was saying. But like I was saying. But like like I was saying. I can pick and choose whoever I can pick and choose whoever on the team I think is that as the as plain, but this team failed. This team failed, period. Is this team mm -hmm. did not perform to the standards that they said they were going to do. And I mean yeah. stuff happens, but they did not perform. Point blank, period. Oh, yep. Okay, now, I got a question for y'all. I got a question for everybody. That's why you go, but you know, this is what but, but this is draft. what Will is saying. Okay. Okay. I got a question for everybody though, right here. Work. Then, then in the off season, then we think then we think we had the good team. We thought we had a good team in the off season, right? Yeah, that's true. We yeah. had we had we team. had assets. We had money to get whatever we wanted. We chose the the Miko Ryan right now got his team ten and seven with a with a that's with that's a, with a rookie quarterback mm -hmm. who's being rick who's being tied for rookie of the year right now. Because his offensive coordinator put him in position to succeed. Not trying to make him the player to win the game, but trying to make him get the ball out of his hand to his players to make plays. That's what he was doing. That's what Arthur Smith was not doing. Arthur Smith was trying to showcase B. Young. That's what he was trying to do. That's what mm -hmm. He had other talent on his team, and the talent is speaking out. Cardell Patterson, he never spoke out like this. Like, like how you speaking on the goddamn social media, bro? Okay. He forgot about mm -hmm. Tyler, uh, he forgot about uh Cardell Patterson. Cardell Patterson helped him build what we got going on right now. He forgot he had a thousand yard running back. He forgot he forgot he had a thousand yard running back. He chose this quarterback, said he was ready. He did not play him in the preseason. He played him nine snaps in the preseason. So yes, it is Arthur Smith fault. I'm gonna continue to say that. And if you want to go back. You can see videos where I bet Arthur Smith and I bad Desmond Ritter for a long time. And I had another video that said they have burned that bridge that said they got the benefit of the doubt. I got videos that said that, so i always been a supporter of them. But I'm also a realist, and I'm always going to be a realist. It's his fault. Well, hey, point well, blank. Yeah, you have, but at hey, the same yeah. time. It's, hey, y'all, hey, check this out, man. See, but see, did, did, did play. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. 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 Did play. Good. I was just gonna say, I'm gonna get, go ahead, Juan. Go ahead, Juan. I'm gonna get ready to go to the game, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead on yeah. down to the super dunk. I mean, don't did players not? Man, did players not drop the team, off? All right, check, check you later. Check you later tonight, Ryder. All right, be safe. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all be good, man. I'll catch y'all later, yeah. bro. Okay. Hey, hey Juan, you got a little drop delay off. on your end, bro. Can't hear you like that. We got a little delay going right. on. The players not drop off. It's a, it's, it's, yeah, it, yeah, it's a, it's um, stream yard. But uh, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can y'all can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we hear you. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. 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 What I'm saying is this, Will. I'm not saying Arthur Smith doesn't have no fault. But at the same time, Arthur Smith can't play the game players. He can't. You can be the you can be the best head coach. You can put any and Terrence Mathis has said this. You can put any player on the team and you can have the best coach in the world. But if the coach puts out something that's good and the players don't execute, it's bad. If the coach puts out something bad and, and, and the players execute that bad play and it doesn't work, it's bad. It's a team fault. Nobody is excusing Arthur Smith. Nobody's not saying he didn't make bonehead, you know, decisions because he's still growing as a head coach. Nobody is absolving him of any wrongdoing. But at the same time, you have to, if you say you won't be real, you have to be honest. It's a team failure because the coach can't go out there and play the positions. I don't care how good he is. I don't care how much we, 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 what he said in the press conference. He has no control over the other men on that field because it's the same thing. No CEO got control of their employees. You give them a job, they do the job. If they don't do the job, you reprimand them. That goes for anybody. All right, hold, on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me let me kill Nobody this. Nobody right is absolved of any right kind of wrongdoing. Nobody. 
Wait, hold on, Ma. Hold on, Ma. All right. Everybody, everybody in the comment section, let's show, let's show a little bit of respect. It goes both ways, all right? Like, look, everybody take a breath, rewind, and start and start from the beginning. Point blank period. That's all it is. That's what we do in the regulators, you know? Show some respect. Say what your piece is. If you disagree or you agree, come to some sort of agreement. Other than that, yo, just chill out. Plain and simple. Now, I haven't heard from somebody in a long time. Coach, and then I'm going to go to you, Ed, and then we're going to go to the next topic. Yo, Coach, um, how do you necessarily feel about that, you know, from a coach's point of view? Put it this way. Yeah. Like Warren said, like Will said, yeah, Arthur Smith has a lot of blame. But you can you can say the coach did this, the coach did that. Players still need to – okay, football. Just think about football in general. When you play football, you do everything in your possibility to make sure you don't have those problems. You got to give it 150% sometimes. I understand mm -hmm. that the coach – yeah, he, Arthur Smith calls them ugly players. He calls them crazy stuff. But you, you just can't say, well, he's always at fault. Yes, he's at fault to a certain degree, but there's a a level of competitiveness that you need to have as a player, too. That you know that you you want to be the best. Because these guys they came together during the summertime. Like I said, we thought we had a good team. But you still got to play the game. Who to say that this team is that good that we thought they were? We don't know. We they overreacted. To, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we 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 seen everything. Like I said, you always look good on paper until you play the game. We have seen that hundreds and hundreds of times throughout these seasons of all type of teams that you look great on paper, but then you you look like boo boo on the stick when you come to the game. Day. <laughs> so, like I said, you both you guys are right. Both you guys are right in yeah. what we both saying, but it's just the right. point is. This is football, man. Football is. But you know, you know, you know what it is, Coach. If you don't mind me interjecting, Ant, you could um see if uh, if you agree with me on this one. I think maybe uh, we jumped the gun. I think maybe we jumped maybe. the gun a bit. I think um what we saw with Ritter last last year, and was like, oh, okay, this dude went to New Orleans, played decent, not great, but decent. Did a comeback victory against uh, Arizona. Played decent in the elements against a, a tough Baltimore defense. And we're like, okay, next year he takes that next step. We're not expecting everything because we were still a majority running team. That was our philosophy. I think we got away from that a little bit. Mm -hmm. That yeah, I think coach. Arthur Smith That's wanted to coach. showcase. Yes. I think Arthur Smith wanted to showcase his weapons a little bit. I think we kind of got away with what our identity was. I understand that part. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is what Terry Fontenot does. He goes out and spends buku bucks on the defense, which took another step this year. We went out and got Jesse Bates, and we went and convinced a 17-year vet by having him watch Desmond Ritter video to come here and play on this team. So when you see all those things between March and about August, we tend to probably jump the gun a little bit. And we mm -hmm. thought, being the fact that Tom Brady's gone, being the fact that you have a rookie quarterback starting in Carolina, we wasn't really worried about the Saints because they had Derek Carr, and you know how Lyric's mom feel about him. We thought that the NFC South is down, is theirs for the, you know, is, is ours for the taking. And how do you feel about that particular um what 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 I said on that? I mean, if that's the case, then every every NFL you know organization's fan base jumps the gun. If we're looking at it like that, because we're supposed to, you know, shoot for the stars and hope for all, you know, for everything for your team. But you like a coach can call any, you know, any play that he wants to, or, you know, but you have to go out there and you have to perform. You have to you you have to hold yourself accountable. For what you're doing on that field, and I haven't been seeing that from players on this team. We've been talking all this talk in the locker room, but you go out there and shit the bed. It's just like, uh, like my boy Sam has has been alluding to numerous times. This one hundred one hundred million dollar defense. 
shit the bed late in games, no matter what the offense does throughout the game, you still got to go out there and play when you're called upon. Because guess what? That's your job. No matter what the what the offense does, you got to put that shit out your mind because that you shouldn't be worried about that. But if you don't go out there and do your job, guess what? Guess who looks like an ass? You do. Not what the offense did or didn't do, whatever. So I'm look. I'm not saying that Arthur Smith and this coaching staff is not, you know, at fault of any of this, but me being a, a ex player, I have to hold these, these players accountable as well. Mm -hmm. I look like a hypocrite if I don't do that. Yep. Well, you know, you know what? Let's go to the next topic because that, that shit got the whole damn place on fire right now. Um, Maggie, you want to add anything? No, I, I think we need to move on from that because it, it just that topic always brings out people's emotions, you know. And honestly, you can argue who's the, you know who's at fault at this point, but what what difference does it make now? It's the end of the exactly. season. That's, that's what I it's think. the end of the season at this point. Yeah, it matter, right? So if it's, we we're getting ready to go into the off season, not meet our expectations whatsoever. Whether it was the coach, whether it was the quarterbacks. What if it was the offense, it was the defense. Overall, it still is a team loss and win season. So at the end of the day, we really need to start gearing up for what, what comes next at this point because this argument is just going to get pointless. I'm ready it's for the draft. Been, it's been pointless since <laughs> almost like week four. I mean, with <laughs> us, us, like, listen, <laughs> us as fans sitting here arguing with each other is proving nothing. Yes, We're know. not on that field playing. We're not, we don't got the clipboard. So we can fight and call people crazy and all that all you want to, but you got to respect everybody's opinion for one thing. Mm -hmm. And for one thing, it's just opinions. We don't get paid for this. The Atlanta Falcons is not paying us to say what's right or wrong. It's an opinion at the end of the day. Yes, so if we, if we can get that in our heads that everybody got a right to how they feel. Right. But that doesn't make your what you're saying is better than somebody else's. That's how this fan base divides itself because everybody feels so passionate about how they feel about a quarterback or a coach. And it, it's sad at this point. We're fighting. We're The Falcons are tripping over their own asses and a fan base is also battling each other. Hmm. We got to come together, people. That's the whole point of this red and black event. I'm tired of all the you on this side, I'm on that side. Come together because we feel we're red and black together. Yeah, it is. It's just you know what? Just pretend it's the Georgia Bulldogs. That's all it is. That's all. That's all you gotta do is pretend like that, you know. But um, Lyric's mom said nobody wants to talk <laughs> about the lazy ass crowd running from receivers, <laughs> Dijon fumbling in critical moments, and his defense caressing nip. Oh my god! Wow. I, I didn't realize she said. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. So um, next topic. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, Juan. Can you hear me? Oh, one's one's on a delay. One's on a bit of a delay. Um, coach, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with you, Coach. Um, would bringing in a credible OC slash QB coach help help our offensive liabilities? Now, the reason why I say this because this has the um, the scenario that we retain Arthur Smith at the end of the season, but we nerf him a little bit, which is not going to be long term. <laughs> it doesn't work out that well, you know, when you do things like that. But um, that there's the question. Would bringing in a credible OC and a QB coach um, help our offensive liabilities? I I think it I think it needs to happen. I think he, if because I think as I think Arthur Smith is a good head coach. I actually think he's a good head coach. But I think uh -huh. the responsibility of being the OC is something he needs to relinquish. But like I said yesterday, it's Arthur Smith willing to do that. Is he willing to do that? This is Arthur Smith, guys. This guy here is he's not. He's an ego. He has an ego. That that's 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 gonna be the question. That's mm -hmm. gonna be the situation. Is he gonna be willing to do this? And like I say, 
me and I, t- I asked Mike the same question yesterday. Uh-huh. He's like, he has. He said he must do it. I said, but is he willing to do it? That's the thing. And we don't know what's going to happen in that situation. So I'm sure that may be something that Arthur Smith and Barnes know whoever's t- talked to him about that, maybe already. And we're going to see how this season, how this game go. So I think that could be the only way he can keep his job if that was to happen that mm-hmm. situ- in, in, this, in this light here. So if he's not willing to do this, he won't be here. I'm, I'm just saying, I think, I think you said, his ego is too big for him to – Yes. Yes, to um, accept that type of um, uh, situation. That's just me. That's just my personal opinion. But you like know, it. but you know, you know what's funny though, Coach. It's funny that you said that because we saw this ego on display in those conf- in those interviews, in those conferences. Like we saw it how how much of an asshole he was to D. Let even though D. Let sometimes deserved it. You know, but we 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 but we seen like the arrogance and all that and. And even last year, Dean Pease had that arrogance as well, that they just talk like a lot of major shit. Now, again, I'm going to go to you. Like, Juan, can you hear me now? I think still on that delay. Yeah, I think he might have to come back, come yeah, come back in again. Man, man. Yeah, Juan, you got a delay over there. Yeah, it's, it's a and, I think it's about like five seconds and, delay. Dirt Cutter's on, on this thing, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's too choppy, man. Try try going out and go come back in again, man. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah this is uh, I don't know some stream yard. Yeah, yeah, you breaking up yeah, really bad. Yeah. Yo, and let me let me oh uh, let me ask you this question. Uh-huh. Um, I'm not gonna ask you who, but this is I'm gonna give you a scenario here. Okay. Yeah. We already we already got a font note in the group right now. Okay. Now, I know she said that you know we don't get paid, but I think she has the inside uh, scoop on things. You know, we have a phone <laughs> note. She's about right over, somewhere there, somewhere over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> but okay. So let's just say this, okay? That Arthur Smith is retained, and somehow um, Falcons fans don't pull a January six. On a Mercedes Benz, uh, uh, on a Mercedes Benz dome, and they come to their senses, and they say, "Okay, this guy is our coach." Um, do you think Des is fixable with the proper resources to succeed? Because I believe that Arthur Smith was a little bit arrogant that he thought he didn't need a QB coach, that he didn't need a credible offensive coordinator. Because just the same thing, like on uh, what what uh Knight Rider was talking about, we were talking about Dave Ragone. And you know, the last time Dave Ragone was uh, was an offensive coordinator, do you know who his quarterbacks were? You gotta go. <laughs> but but do you know who his quarterbacks were? It. I know. It was uh, it was Nick Nick Foles and Mitch yeah. Trubisky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so again, we need somebody credible. We don't need somebody imaginative because um, Arthur Smith already has this imagination with the way he be calling these plays some, some sometimes, but. Spacing things like of, of that nature, even to simplify things for Des, play to his skill set instead of like this running your offense. Um, what do you think about that, Ant? Yeah, that, I mean, we should do that. I mean, I think if we can bring in a quarterback coach, well, I already think we have the quarterback coach and maybe possibly the offensive coordinator on our staff. <sighs> I, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. Gotta go. We're going gotta go. No, I ain't talking about we're going. Fuck him. Oh, I, okay. I already told y'all the uh, middle of the season he gotta go. I ain't talking right. about him. Okay. But we got a couple of people that you know that's in our stable that we can move into that. Those. So I think he he can be groomed back into being a starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. But. Right now, well, not right now because uh, he's he's starting today. So, hmm. <laughs> wouldn't that be some shit if he actually gets us to the playoffs? <laughs> I mean, if we want, if we truly like chaos, if Dr. I mean, wins the game and gets us to the playoffs, I don't know how y'all gonna react down there. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just saying. 
they they don't know how to how to act. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, let, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. They didn't know how to act for fourteen years with a real quarterback. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. But um, oh oh, yo, Will, you you this you still there, brother? Yeah, I'm here, bro. All right, um. Offensive coordinator, quarterback coach. You think is that's the way to fix our um shortcomings on on offense? Well, I said this uh a while ago on coach show. When me and Hill were talking. Like if they did retain Arthur Smith, he got to have a new offensive coordinator and a quarterback coach. Like I already said, I think I I, I told I told Coach this before. I think you're a good coach, bro, because the team do play for him. I'm gonna give them that. They play for this guy. They play hard for this guy, but he gets in his own way. That's the only thing, bro. He gets in his own way. So yeah. if he do bring in a company, quarterback coach and the uh, offensive coordinator, and he let them do their thing, most successful coaches let they, you know what I'm saying, offensive coordinator do their thing until they have to step in. You feel what I'm saying? So they have to be like, hey, man, look, we need to run the ball right here in this game or whatever, what Dan Quinn didn't do. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like, but if he, if they do retain him, if they do retain him, he got to have another offensive coordinator and quarterback coach come here. So, whoa, manscape JP. Yeah, he. He's oh, <laughs> manscape. <laughs> oh, manscape. Oh my god. JP been live in the chat. Oh. They been on him in the chat all day. <laughs> yeah, JP's full of shit. Oh. All right. Okay. Um, so, bro, you don't um, need to be telling on yourself in the comment section. So here we go. We got to talk about it. Is the funeral music on? Is the Undertaker walking down the aisle? No. Is this it? Is that? I know. I see you shaking your head already, but I got to go to Maggie. I got. I got ladies first now. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, let me get this in before somebody else coming in. They got the monster truck thing going on today, so it's a little busy starting. Um, okay. But um, is this it for Arthur Smith? <laughs> Don't know. I mean, honestly, from what I'm hearing from the Falcons camp, I don't think it's it for him. But I do feel like, um, kind of like how we was happy that they decided to address the defensive needs last year. I feel like this regime is all about let's fix what. Is going on. So I really think they will address because the public announced that we don't have a quarterback this and this. You got there's some holes that we need to fix and that starts with coaching. So I think there's going to be a conversation because I think there was something going on where um, Arthur Blank is like, I'm not getting any younger. I want to win. Oh, so what does that entail? That's let's get realistic about who's calling the plays, who's doing this. We need better representation on that's going to teach these players what they need to do and what not to do. He got to get out of his ego. He got to put that down because if if we keep get continuing running on his ego, we're never going to make it. We're not going to be good enough, and we're going to have players over here that's useless. All this, um, he's overrated, and all this. It's because of that ego. Yeah. We we all we doing is looking at B. John as that you know that's that's the man yeah this is the, this is the Martin Day who you know Julio Jones or something that's what Arthur Smith is trying to make out of certain players and now you got um, C. P. You know he he's like I don't know I'm not feeling this right now so it's like I think he felt he was I, I think C. P. Felt he was lied to yeah. They, so they, it's they, like they, now they, you they, got the, the, the main player that wanted to be here vouching to be here feeling like I'm, I'm taking nature to this, this, these players here. Um, what is my purpose now? Where is this team going? I actually wanted to retire a Falcon. You know, so we got we got um, you know, players that they're now they're fishing. It's like, hey, we can go get a couple of these good players off your team because you're not using them. Shoot, he can be over here and be good. So it's just it's time that Arthur Blank and Terry sit down with Coach and be like, all right, what went wrong here? You you picked the players. 
you know, and I think you get into that question next, so I ain't gonna go into it deep, but you get what I'm, you get where I'm going with it. Was it Arthur no, Smith? No, no I'm gonna let you lead into that. So no, I'm gonna leave no, it there. No spoilers. No spoilers. I'm not gonna spoil. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> okay. Um, Juan, thoughts? Yo. Go, go, go ahead. And give your thoughts on 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 this one, man. What you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement. He he's gonna have to relinquish that. Uh, and give it to somebody that can actually focus on the, you know, the quarterback coach, focus on the quarterback, developing them and, and OC. Because you can – we've seen this one – you know what I'm saying, man, many, wearing many hats. No. Nah. Oh, hold on. And, hold on. And, we, got, we got a super chat. Hold on. Let me get let me get to this real quick. Sorry, Juan. Jay Black with $10. Thank you for putting gas in my car, brother. All right. We need better – the player development on offense. Man, a few words. Thank you, Jay Black, 142. That's true. And, and, and that goes into it. But if you look at how we did our defense, who do you have? You got Jerry Gray, assistant head coach. You got good, Ryan Nielsen. Good, good, good coach. Okay? Mm-hmm. So what happens is Jerry Gray right. oversees the defense. He's like the final say. And then you got Ryan right. Nielsen that takes what he says, hey, and this is what we're going to implement. And that's what they did. Arthur Smith's going to have to do that. He's going to have to be a figurehead. Hire some guys that specifically have a skill set in developing a quarterback and helping the O-line, and you just oversee it. That's all you do. You don't have to do much. He can't If he wants to turn his team into what I call a one-dimensional team, a one-dimensional offense like we had, because all you had was Matt Ryan and Julio Jones at focus, then what happens is when teams take that weapon away, you, you they, they pin your ears back. We don't have a one-dimensional offense. So, like I said earlier in the season, and you've seen it in certain games, you have a rotation. If the run game is working, you get all three of those guys in rotation, and you wear the defense down. And then if you decide you want to do the sprinkling in the passing game, then you get your perimeter players in. We've seen that in certain games, and that bear to play a more uh, balanced offense. You can't – this is no longer a one-dimensional offense. So you got to have other people that's – Specialize in certain areas. That just is Yo, what it is. Where, where's that? Where's that comment before this one, Mag? Um, where is it? I, I just want to. I, I just. I just want to give an opportunity to. I think he said something about like uh, the linebackers are great. I agree with that. But the fact that our corners suck, I don't know about that because here, here, here's here's my and. He said, uh, Rock Boys for Life says, Falcons defense are, are going to be good. They are. The linebacker room is great. I wouldn't say great, but they're 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 actually ahead of schedule more than I thought. Because mm-hmm. Lamin looks like a steal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lamin right. looks like a steal. Right. And now, and now what you can do is that you can add to a strength. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because once because when part. Troy comes back, when Troy comes back, now it's gonna be some problems. Now you got a, a, a interchangeable piece that can go inside or outside. And whatnot. So, yeah, they're coming along. I actually think they're a year or two ahead of schedule. Bates' best acquisition in in years. You know, yeah, we we went yeah. over that during the middle of the season. Corners suck. Need defensive line help. I agree with that. Yeah. Corners suck. I don't, but I agree with the fact that, that we need do need defensive line help. But we're also decimated with injuries along the defensive line. Which, um, if you tune in to Coach Unchained, he does do a lot of these mock drafts. And these um these talent act you know uh, evaluations coming up. So tune in so that when we do pick somebody, you don't know what the hell we're talking about. So here it is. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's all I'm saying. There you go, Coach. There's your plug. Now they said they are on the field so much they give up plays late in the game. That is absolutely true. Now because of that, I think we lost sight of our culture. I lost sight of our culture. I, I think we definitely should have ran the ball a whole lot more. That part. Heavy, heavy play action. I mean, simplify the game. I think what he did is like, okay, I got Dez. I got all these weapons. I'm going to show them off. Right. Now, instead of instead of like progressing, you regressed on offense. Mm-hmm. The yeah. defense is actually a, a year ahead of schedule. I mean, look at what Zach Harrison is. Look at um Street. We just got Street off the goddamn street, and he actually looked good in his first game. You know, so yes, sir. Yes, sir, Juan. Because we played the defense the way we built it. That is the problem. We had an offense that was bludgeoning teams 
every game. Like Detroit said, Detroit said they wanted to see the 2022 Falcons offense because they ran the ball. So when you got these, you got these new players, you decided to be finesse. No, you add to that, you give the bludgeoning and you give them a sprinkler passing game. That's all you do. You don't undo what works. That's why the defense was so successful. They played the way they built it. Yeah. And don't and don't don't, don't forget this other part, Juan, is that um when you said you have Jer- I think this was it you won or was it um Ant that said we have Jerry Gray and then we have Ryan Nielsen. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. Okay, so yeah. so when you have those two, you said you have one guy that's calling a defense, another one that oversees it. Mm-hmm. On offense, mm-hmm. we have a guy that's incapable of drawing up plays, Ragon, and then we have another guy that calls plays. So what exactly do we expect when when one guy has to oversee everything? Coach, I see you over there. You look like you. You got something to say, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> let let on, the man speak. Go ahead, Coach. On that, on that offensive side, it's just what we, you know, Ragon was supposed to be the OC, right? Mm-hmm. So, and Smith supposed to be the play caller. However, if you see the if you if you have that much trust in your OC, why not correct some of the play calls the uh place that he's drawing up if you're supposed to be that OC, that offensive minded person. So mm-hmm. shouldn't you have that ability to change? Okay, but then again, when you call them plays that don't match the situation, that's on you. You can't frame that all on David Gone. Right. And the play call in the plays that he's drawing up, I'm not saying they're bad to complain. It's just the execution and when you're calling the plays. Because if you call a certain play at a certain time, that play may just work. Right. Because in football, every in football, every play is designed to work. It's up to the defense just to counter it. That's that's Situ- that's situation. That's football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just situational yeah. play call when it's called. So we, yeah. we Everybody blaming David going. He goes, yeah, he he he's the scapegoat. Yes, I'm gonna be on. He's the scapegoat, but it's still up to the play caller, the person that's called these plays, to call the plays at the right time. So you guys are saying, there we go. So y'all 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 putting everything on. All, I'm saying, on Smith, he's the one who's called the play. You you blaming David going a lot because you know because what he had in what's called. Yeah, he's he's not calling plays. Art Smith called all the plays. Now he needs to call yes. the plays at the right time. That's fair. Just to go on where Coach was talking about, one thing we didn't mention is uh, Arthur Smith helped them set up the game plan for the defense. We heard Jerry Gray say this in a press conference one time. He helped them set up the game plan for the defense. That same guy does the same thing on offense, but guess what? He called him plays. He don't call plays on defense. So it's just his situational play calling that's cost him right now. Yeah, that's that's all it is. It ain't it, that's all they call Arthur Smith because his plays are good. Like I said before, I be I be killing dudes on man over his playbook. His plays are good. Yeah, they had a great you know what I mean? now. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's just his situational play calling, dog. That's all that's that's, that's holding him back. And, and I think what that comes from, he got too much on his plate. He's trying to oversee the team and trying to dog on call the play. He can't do that. He's a young, he's a young head coach. He can't do that. Uh, he can't end the read. He can't do the end the read. He got to let somebody else take over. He I'm got say, to, bro. I'm gonna say something. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say something about being a young head coach. When you, this is your third year. I understand he's, he hasn't been the head coach for three years. Yes, I understand that. Mm-hmm. But sometimes. When thing works for you, use it until it don't work for you. Two years prior, you know, you had Matt Ryan talking about Cal Pitts. Yeah, that worked. But last year, we had everybody in this league afraid to come against the Falcons because that run game was just nasty. Yes. Use it. Use it, use it until it don't work no more. You sprinkle it. See, I, I, this is another thing I, I'm that I feel. I think Dads would have been a better quarterback if we focused more on the run game and let him sprinkle that pass game in a little bit. We got away from that. We tried to force him to throw the ball too much. Mm-hmm. Yes. That part, Coach. Yes. That part. That part, yes. Coach. Yep. Like you, you guys, I would tell you, he didn't have a quarterback coach. Yes, he did have a quarterback coach. However, 
Run, run, run. Play action. It works. You, you know what? K Styles, K Styles had a very good analogy. He said, and this is this is the back up what Coach said. He said, if you look at the film from last from 2022, he said when Desmond Ritter was in the games, the reason why those last two games went the way they went is because Desmond Ritter is a quarterback that likes to be on the move. So you move the pocket. You move the pocket, he does well. He's not a stand in the pocket and throw the ball. Off. That's not his. That's not his game. That wasn't his game at Cincinnati. So you're trying to put him in a box that he doesn't fit in. All the times when you see when you see us run the game, when you see us run the ball, and you see us move the pocket. The man, the man, he kills teams because that's his natural. That's his natural play. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's like trying that that's like trying to make you know what I'm saying. B. John Robinson, a sole wide receiver. That ain't his. That's not his strength. Or run him up the middle. Hey, that's not his strength. <laughs> well, you know, I'm gonna take you the play other. to the player's strengths. You got to play to the player's strengths. You can't put him in a box. <laughs> you know, you know, and, and, I, think and he, just you know like, I think he'd be a good running back up the middle if he runs the ball, just run. Stop trying to tiptoe in there. Yeah, stop tiptoe. <laughs> he like, but, 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 but the thing is, like, coach, coach, Ant, we knew what he was when we saw the tape. We knew what he was. He's a jump cut type of dude. He yeah, was not compared to Jim. Like his 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 player comp was not uh, Jim Brown. His no, 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 no. Was he LT. Wasn't that. He wasn't. Mm-hmm. He was, he's LT. He's and that's what LT does. You know, yeah. you gotta take the good with the bad with that until like he develops proper vision. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm. I'm going on a limb right now. I'm gonna say something y'all made up. Oh, 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 oh boy! Oh, get him, get him, coach. Go Is ahead, he, coach. <laughs> Bijan became popular when last year, his senior year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is he that guy? Think about this. Oh boy! Did y'all, did y'all watch the Texas game? <sighs> and it was running back the same guy. What Roshan the and same him? way? The one who the ones who yeah. right now, at Texas, they do they run look the same, same way. way. They look yeah. Like yeah, it's just yeah. Mm-hmm. he could just yeah. be a system guy. Yeah, that um, that you know, I'm sure he's a we'll good see, talent. We'll see that. He could just be a system guy, guys. Y'all, I'm just saying. Well, and, and see, and see, <laughs> remember what I said too. A lot of times when when he when Bijan has a lead, see the thing is. Once Bijan gets past a line of scrimmage in the space, that's where he does his best work because he he can make you miss. But when he's getting player. ready to go into traffic, a lot of times, especially on like 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 stress plays or whatever, he got to have a, a a a lead blocker because he's not a he 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 cannot if it's one on one he can knock you down, but he's not gonna go through traffic like Tyler is here. He's not gonna do that. And I said it many times: if you wanted him to get touches like the way you did, give him a lead blocker if you're gonna run him through traffic. Because well, once he gets in traffic, he, 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 he they started doing that. They started doing that. Yeah, that, that that's and you and you saw how you saw how his runs were too. Yeah. Now, now, coach, he does average close to five yards a carry. You know, mm-hmm. he's about at four, four, six, four, seven right now. Now, mm-hmm. here's the thing. Again, uh, I, I believe our strengths. Why well, I'm saying is play to our strengths. Mm-hmm. Our offensive line strength. They like to bludgeon people. They like to run the ball. That's right. why we got. That's why we got Bergeron. He's not exactly a dancing bear, but he Bullshit. likes to bludgeon folks. Now, yeah. same with Lindstrom. The same with McGarry. They don't like to. I mean, they'll do it because they have to. But again, if our strengths are running the ball, then you can't have Desmond Ritter dropping back uh, 20, 25, 30 times a game. You, you can't. You can't do that. No, you can't. You have to. I mean, look. And also, what also would help if we had guys that could actually be, and I said this a couple of weeks ago, if we had legit route runners on our team. We thought we had that with Van Jefferson. I don't know what happened with this oh, man. man. Oh, God. Please. Uh, I, I, I'm, <laughs> getting van, I'm, 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 I'm getting a van headache because that look, right there was just, uh, I mean, I mean I he's, not, he's not his daddy. He's not his daddy, Sean. Okay, that played for us when Vic was in. He ain't Sean. <laughs> I wouldn't even say no mess like that. He yeah, ain't even shadow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But, but again, just like I said, um, the, the pieces are the pieces are there. 
but we have to get back to what we do best. Right. And right. And, and and I think uh, and what let's just say that what would happen like with Arthur Smith if whatever happens, whatever. Okay, check this out. If we was to get rid of him, scenario only, scenario only. If we were to get rid of him, we would have to beat the candidates away with a stick. Because the running joke now is that we don't know how to use or utilize our weapons. Just like what OG was talking about with Tyler Algier. I think that Tyler Algier kind of regressed a bit in the, because of the fact that he wasn't getting enough carries. Same like CP. And you oh. could also sprinkle Bijan in there too. Let's just go back to having a three-headed monster at the running back position and just let Dez manage the game. He's capable of going to win it because he shows he's capable of going to win games. He does have game-winning drives. But, again, help your defense out as well. Help your defense out. Run mm. the damn ball. k Style said this last year, and for the past 10 years he's been saying it. Run the damn ball. But we have to go to the next topic here, man. This is going to set the people on fire. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. man. Oh, man. <laughs> do, do you believe Desmond Ritter was a Terry Fontenot pick or Arthur Smith pick? Now, this could... Like I said, the ooh, scenarios ooh, are going to be ooh, coming now. Why? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say Terry Fontenot because if you've looked at Tennessee, and I'm going to be honest with you, Desmond Ritter ain't Arthur Smith's guy. He's not. He's not. There we oh, go. Wait, what you He's saying? What are you saying? Oh. We say one. Yeah, he now, now <laughs> the reason why I say that is this. Look at look, you gotta look at Tannehill's career. What did Tannehill do most of the time? You had now now you had a juggernaut running back. Okay. We already know that. Okay, but what did Tannehill do most of the game? What what was Tannehill? Mm -mm. What is it? What's Tannehill was a game. Tannehill was a game manager. Yes, he was. Tanner yes, he Tanner was. Hill. Tanner Hill didn't do anything spectacular with his arm to to, to carry the team. You know, in Tennessee, we, right? In, we knew we, man, we, was right. We knew who the ball. We we, we we knew who the guy who carried the team. Everybody knows, okay. Mm -hmm. But Terry Fontenot, on the other hand, where did Terry Fontenot come from? He came from the Saints. Mm -hmm. Had a breeze. You had you had Drew Brees, okay. Mm -hmm. Ritter, we had a trade for. Now, what did people say about Ritter when we when when, when we trade when we got him? He reminds people of Matt Ryan, right? Yes. And that pissed yes. everybody off. What did Matt Ryan do a lot in on the Falcons? He threw the ball. Mm -hmm. Terry Fontenot came from an organization where their quarterback threw the ball. Arthur Smith mm -hmm. came from an organization where their team ran the ball. You see what I'm saying? Arthur Smith wants a guy that, if need be, you can throw the ball, but you hand it off. But because he had perimeter weapons, he was forced to showcase them, which took the quarterback out of his natural rhythm. Because when we first got here, with this is why people had this big issue with, man, y'all did more with less. It was close. It the system was close, closely set up to what he was used to dealing with in Tennessee, because you had one or two players, and one of them was a running back. Now you got all these perimeter weapons. It's like, let me see if this boy can throw. Terry Fontenot, like, yeah, he throws like Matt Ryan. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Y'all gotta understand that. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, if this ain't an Arthur Smith pick. This was Terry Fontenot. If you look at the room when they got him, Terry Fontenot was more excited than Arthur Smith was. Go back and look at the film. Uh oh, super chat. I knew I knew it was going to happen. Maurice Martin said this is an Arthur Blank pick. He mandated we pick him. Mm. What you, you think sure about that? You sure about that? What you What you think, Ant? You agree? Disagree? Or is it his son? I'm just saying that that go, but see that still goes back to what I said. Who was here when Arthur Blank has been here through most of his tenure is Matt Ryan, and again, Matt Ryan's a passing quarterback. Terry yeah. Fontenot comes from an organization where they had a passing quarterback. They didn't have they didn't have quarterbacks that 
handed it off. Just saying. Oh, coach, uh, coach, gonna say, can I say something? <laughs> go ahead, coach. I be, can I say something? I could be wrong, but go ahead, coach. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Look at this. Look whenever at this. whenever Look. I see coach start leaning like that, I know he got some. He got something. To say. Look at this, look at this, this way also. No matter what Desmond, who brought Desmond in, Desmond is what's starting to next year anyway. Bang the mm. That part. That the shunt, that the, the shunt, whatever that boy name is, Watson. Sean kid, Watson. If that situation was never would have happened, y'all think about it. We would have been on Cellar Cap Hill this year. This year would have yes. been the year we were on Cellar Cap Hill. Mm-hmm. So because Matt Ryan said, I want it out of here now because of that situation, that slowed down the progress of Desmond. Mm-hmm. Now, if Desmond yeah. was behind Matt Ryan for two years, because Matt Ryan would have been here, Marcus Mariota was just a, a, I need somebody, no. a veteran, supposed to be mind, a mindful veteran. But this would have been Matt Ryan last year. Matt Ryan would have been here for this year and last with two years. Mm -hmm. years, All right. He's been going for what? Yeah. So Desmond would have took over this year. It would have been this year. Desmond would have took over. It would have been that. Okay. Desmond would have had more knowledge of being a quarterback under Matt Ryan. Absolutely. Then, in this view, this year would have been a year to had our angle to smooth sailing, but it would have been a good year. I think he would have been a better quarterback. Mm-hmm. So all yeah. this about who brought him in, I'm sure everybody talk about it, it was his son, uh, Arthur Smith, whoever. He's not an Arthur Smith type guy. No. Arthur Smith like veterans. I hate to say that Arthur Smith would prefer to have a he veteran does. in here. That to part. Do, to do he does. his work instead of trying to train. Because he's not a quarterback guru. He's never right. said he was a quarterback nah. guru. Yeah, he's never been that. He's well, an he offensive so minded coach. Wait a minute, coach. So wait a minute, coach. I think you're alluding to something that possibly what could happen in the offseason if he stays. Right. I, I, know, I know what you're doing, Coach. I know what you're doing, Coach. Hey, Magnus, I see where you're going. I see where you're going, Magnus. I see where you're going, Magnus. I, I, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. I, I Coach, the kid, we, the, I'm following we, the breadcrumbs, Coach. Mm-hmm. I'm following your breadcrumbs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, why cool. that's why my yeah. last name's Crumbly. So you just keep Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, on a serious tip, though, guys, if Dan had that had that positive type veteran that's gonna take him on his wing, and I'm sure Matt would have done that. Oh I'm yeah, sure he would have done that. Dan's would be a better quarterback today. So, so wait a minute, because coach. there was are no you, guy are you that saying he... that somebody needs to to cook. Yeah, is that what you're saying? I see. I knew you was going oh, no, there. Need to cook. I know you was going there. Hey, hey, hey. We don't need somebody hey. named Ryan. We don't need somebody named Ryan. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I cook. put it out there. I put it out there on the short. I said <laughs> hey. it. Dad's got too much salt and need a little bit more pepper sprinkled in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that more needs some pepper. pepper. You, you heard it here first. Hey, hey, go, hey, look, go back and look at my shorts. Go back and look at my shorts. I said it. Everybody talk about that. <laughs> who, so, who, so obviously, who, what, go ahead, who, go ahead. Did the, who did Dez have to mentor him? Tell Nobody, me. baby. Nobody. Dog shit. Dog shit. <laughs> so, where can you sweat at when you need him? He, he, was, he was thrown to the fire. And Arthur Smith had no choice but to throw him to the fire this year. He had no choice. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There was no solid. He was he was clearly better than Heineke. He yeah. was clearly better than Heineke, and yeah. nobody else was available. Nobody else was available, that's, and that's the problem. So he was he was he was thrown to the wolves. Sometimes. Yeah, he was. And he my was. my thing was, and I think a lot of us always said, keep him out there. Yeah, that's the only way he's gonna I, get better. I know that's the only way he's gonna learn. However, it However. was ugly. It was that they gave me through that interception. That was ugly. It was like, what the hell are you doing? Right, I, right. Y'all talk about the quarterback. Coach, yeah. A quarterback would have stopped and never stopped, stopped him from doing that. Don't yeah. care what kind of coach. Coach can't go stop him from throwing that ball. Mm-mm. That's exper- experience. Is experience is the best teacher in that in that in that situation? Yeah. Because that's something he's got to learn, and that that's the reason. That's 
as much as frustrated as we got watching that, because we was like, when you look at the film and, and they shrink it down, we like, who are you throwing to? And then you open it up and you see Drake over there. You was like, uh, yeah, we, I mean, yeah. There were guys Maybe running need open glasses, in this guy. I've been office. saying this, man. The kid may need to go get his ass checked. <laughs> Just wait. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this, is, this is serious shit. Young people think they can see everything. I had a kid that I've coached that couldn't see water, but he was like, dude, who, <laughs> you see? who are you looking at? Found out he had somebody, he, he had like a stimulant in his eye and he needed some, he ended up getting some contacts. And so, after that, he played much better. I'm serious. It's just so check this out. J, JP made a good point here. Mariota and Ridley really sped up the, the timetable. Yeah, they did. They, 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 they did. did. That's, they, a good, they, that's a good they, point. They did. Exponentially. You got to think yeah. because it was within what? Julio Julio bowed out in the offseason yeah. right before the start yeah. of the season. I think like yeah. what, August or Seth, right? I think August. Yeah. Ridley, Ridley bowed out in October. Yeah. Five because, games so you know, draft, yeah. draft Kings. Draft Kings. Draft Kings. <laughs> draft Kings. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, it, <laughs> Yeah, no, but, you're, but, you're, but you're absolutely right. Now, truly, I, I, I believe, I believe, and we all know um, from what we know, what was reported, Arthur Smith was hired first, and then and came Terry Fontenot. Terry, Terry Fontenot. So, ideally, Arthur Smith is not a Terry Fontenot guy. I believe Ryan Nielsen is, and guys from that. Oh, oh, hold on, guess coach. <laughs> <laughs> but it was yes, said. It was said though, because they they he could they could talk to him. They just couldn't hire couldn't hire Punchno. I think they said that Punchno was asked, "What do you think about Arthur Smith?" Is that, I was just about to get to that. Coach. Go ahead. Oh, he, oh, oh he, go ahead. Oh, no, oh, go ahead. OG, go ahead. OG. So, go ahead. No, nah, I'm, I'm gonna let Coke finish up. Let yeah. Coke finish up. Okay. So okay. He, okay. He, he, he was asked about the hiring of um, Arthur Smith before he was okay. hired. So it, it, okay. it wasn't like it was going to be a mystery to him who was hired. Arthur Smith had to be hired because Arthur Smith, would have, he was a hot commodity at the time. He so right. He could have right. went somewhere else. We don't know. If, if, if you saw if you saw those numbers, what he put up in Tennessee, you know, un, under him, like he basically under he was what? like top 10. Uh, under well, what kind of quarterback? A veteran quarterback. Un, under a veteran quarterback, yes. Ryan Tannehill. There was almost... Almost, what, what they almost beat Kansas City, right? That that year. Yep, they always beat. Yeah, mm-hmm. they almost yeah. beat. Yeah, okay, so go ahead, go ahead, OG. What was your point? Oh, well, speak on that. Well, uh, Coach was talking about. Yeah, they both was told who the Falcon was uh, had interest in, and they was asked, like, "Hey, do you think you can work with this guy?" Even before they hired yeah. Arthur Smith, they had, they was able to hire Arthur Smith, Smith first because he wasn't in the playoffs. Right. But you know what I'm saying? But they both was interviewed and told about who they had in mind at the top candidacy. But but to go along with uh who pick it is, I think it was the team pick, him and Terry. Yeah. Okay. But like uh, like Coach did, Coach stole something else out of my mouth right there. Like <laughs> if <laughs> if Matt Ryan was still here, the plan was to let Desmond learn not to put him out there. Yeah, yeah, that's but true. then when, when when they had the trade, when they had the trade. Uh, your boy Matt Ryan. The thought was, okay, I'm gonna let Matt Marcus Mariota come in here. He's been under my system. He'll be able to show. He'll be, <laughs> he'll be able to show. He'll be able to show Desmond Ritter how to run my program. But nobody expected when the, when all the pressure was on Marcus Mariota for him to fold like a lunch chair. Right. <laughs> when all that pressure on his back, he, oh, he couldn't handle it. He could have, You could see it in his eye. He couldn't handle it. He went. He wasn't uh, engaged with players on the sideline. He his play his face was just bland. He wasn't there, dog. He like he's a career backup player. To tell you the truth, that's what he is, and he and he showed his true color. So he thought he was gonna have a Tannehill situation. He if, if you look at it when when it, when everybody was talking about him winning games, he he made it up in his mind that even though Desmond Ritter is here. I'm going to ignite my quarter. I'm going to ignite my career like Tannehill did. And right, when it right. didn't happen, he like, screw the Falcons, screw Ritter. You're going to have to figure it out on your own. Like Colt said, hey, the plan was to have a veteran come take over the, the, the team for two years, then put Desmond in at that third year. That was the plan. Yes. But it didn't work out like that. So, by the way, this is what I did oh. today. I wore number four, Ritter jersey. Oh. 
hold on, hold on. The uh, I didn't put the nine on today. That nine I ain't think... been working. That nine ain't worked out for his ass. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, Maggie. Go ahead. I, I, know I want to say this because it's getting a little busy uh, right now. But um, it was going back to what um, OG, you know, um, Big Will said. Um, I really felt that <clears throat> we dropped. It was when Mariota was, you know, added to the team. It was because we dropped the ball and we was in those like, oh, we fucked up mode because mm -hmm. we we dropped the ball when we was rumors you know pursuing a certain player and you already know that um yeah they got stuff going around go somebody right now hold on yeah i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> all right while she while she does that um we got another super chat um from maurice martin thank you appreciate that brother we have marcus mariota was arthur smith's guy and because DR9 had to learn from him, he severely undermined Ritter, and we're seeing the same tendencies as him. There's some truth exactly. to that. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing with that. Yeah. Yeah. He, that, and yeah. He, didn't, he never had anybody capable in front of him to show him the way. Mm -hmm. Plain and mm -hmm. freaking simple. And even some of the guys yeah. that was in front of him probably wasn't even willing to even teach him. Marcus looked and petty as fuck, you know, when he, when he did that at the end of that season. So probably that's what was going on. And that's why we it's all so talked about it. We, we we made a point where most fans don't want to get rid of Ritter and everything. And I said it like this. Y'all don't want to have that Brett Favre syndrome because of how he was handled in Atlanta. Now you don't want to have him go to another team that's going to actually put some work behind him. You don't want to have to see that monster. He, he's a good quarterback, but he was mishandled. You don't want to have to see that monster. Trust me, you don't. And you damn sure don't want to see him with no Lombardi on another team. You talking about her? Yeah. That that's why they, that's why they up and down with 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 the quarterback thing, man. Well, well, at least Mariota is on the Philadelphia Eagles, and they can't get right right now. And so they doing what? And what is and what is and where is Mary Holter doing? Nothing. Holding a clipboard. <laughs> he can't even do that right. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but what I was gonna say because I'm saying I gotta say this real quick. Um, yeah. I felt that was a Oh shit, we fucked up desperate move mm -hmm. move at that point with Mariota. I don't think he was that guy they was going for, but he was the available guy at the time. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I felt that the goal for you know um drafting Ritter was for him to get some veteran experience and um learn up under who we thought was gonna still be here, but it was like Matt Ryan was like, wait a minute. You don't want me here, so I'm gonna go to somebody. And but we did give him the opportunity. It's like, you know what, my bad dog. Go ahead and pick where you want to go. We owe you that at least. That's the way, mm -hmm. way I felt that it went. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I got well, found that guy. It's busy. No, you you absolutely yeah, right. you know what? You're right, you're right, right, Maggie. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Now here's the thing though, because we already said it now, Maggie. Now before I know he's getting busy over there, so we just gonna do it real quick because coach said that you know he needs a little bit of pepper. OK, this particular guy doesn't really need a little bit of pepper. Arthur Smith does well with veteran quarterbacks. So apparently we need to let Terry Fontenot cook and we need to let Arthur Smith cook. And there's one quarterback out there that got done wrong by his particular team that's going to be available. His wife is from the area. Oh, two plus two boy. Don't equal, I said two it. Plus two does not equal Thomas Jefferson. Well, I am talking about dangerous. Okay. I see the future ahead of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, exponentially. <laughs> Expeditiously. Exponentially. <laughs> now, 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 if if, if um, Russell Wilson is watching right now, I want to apologize for all the future jokes that's probably going to happen. And I also want to say, I better not see your square-headed ass do a dirty bird. I know you ain't got no rhythm. I don't want you to be doing that. Just get us to the playoffs, Mr. Wilson. Well, we we'll don't see Sierra on top of cars in downtown Atlanta. We're good. Don't you, know. you do that, Maggie. Don't you do that. You got, baby, you got more baby than you got. That's true, Never mind. <laughs> Strapped look, up look, said it. Look, like, look, look, look with, all of the, with, with, with all of the future jokes that's going to come up, I don't think she's going to be on top of no cards no time soon. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one, man. Uh, uh, no. Now, now I'm just going to talk to JP real quick, and we got get your question and answers right now because it's 1235. Coach, I know you're going to be going over to do your watch party, so we just get the questions in here. We're going to answer them. 
I just got to talk to JP real quick. Now, here, JP, just want to talk to you real quick. This is just a narrative that we're doing. We're just doing scenarios. We do this on regulators all the time, okay? This is just a scenario because just like what Coach said, that Arthur Smith does very well with veteran quarterbacks, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a particular – especially improvising veteran quarterbacks, like a certain somebody – that was in Tennessee that helped him win. So what I want you to understand is that we're only talking about Russ because he would do very well with a top five offensive line in front of him, a top running, a top running team, and weapons galore at every single level. That's mm -hmm. all we're saying. It's and all he made wide receivers look good too. He make a lot of wide receivers look good. Right. He made Colin Sutton look good. Well, look, think about it like this: Drake London's <laughs> already Drake London's already coming into his own. So Drake would eat. Yeah. Drake, yeah. Would eat. yeah, but he's also been in numerous West Coast systems, so it's not like yeah. it's foreign to him. Uh huh. And he was under Pete Carroll, like, and Pete Carroll like and Arthur Smith are off the same street. <laughs> so, at this point, I think the next move is not to draft the quarterback. I still think that that's the organizational. I think that's an organizational decision what they did. So again, we're going to give Arthur Smith an opportunity to play with the vet. And that's the only way he's going to be able to save his job. And that's if, if he decides to come back and give up play calling. And right. So he's going to have to be nerfed, right? He's going to have to be nerfed and he's going to have to work with a veteran quarterback. So let's just see how humble, how much this season has humbled him. We don't know yeah. what, but JP, I do not like Kirk Cousins. Oh, Jesus, we need, I need somebody that can move a little bit. That's, that's, that's it. I just need somebody that can move a little bit. That's all I'm saying. But um, y'all get y'all questions in there. I think I missed um Red Swarm a couple of things. Um, this is one that's for you, Coach. Stephen B said Jay Newton from Illinois is Grady 2.0. Yeah. There we go. He's more. He's more like a. It's the yeah, but they're both built the same. Them, him, and Grady. Yeah, they're the same exact same height. Same exact same height. height. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, who's oh. the one draft prospect you don't want the Saints to get? I like that kid Latu from um, UCLA. I don't want him to get them. Oh, Latu, yeah, Latu's nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want him to get Latu, man. I saw I don't some want tape him to on get him. Chop either. Chop. Don't want him to get chop. chop. <laughs> no, don't go chop. No chop. Terry, you I'm hear a, this? You hear I'm this? I'm gonna tell y'all somebody, but I think he, he's he's more like a Zach Harrison to me too. That kid from Washington, uh, Braylon Trice. Braylon I like Trice. That kid too. I like that cat too. Not but once, I, not twice, but Trice. 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 I don't think. I don't think he, he's he's too much like a Zach. He plays a little bit like a Zach. Actually, yeah. plays a lot like a Cam Jordan. He's a standing guy. Ooh, he's like, don't do don't do that, coach. I'm just saying. You're cursing out. You're cursing out here, coach. I'm just, he's like a he's like a Cam Jordan type to me. So, but. <laughs> uh, we got oh man, that. We got <laughs> what what Russell Wilson number going to be? It won't Isn't be three? three. It won't be three. Mm -mm. Obviously, because uh, uh, sorry, that's uh, that's taken. Yeah, that yeah, that's Bates Motel. It won't be <laughs> two because that never will be used again. Well, well, he could take four because he Heineke ain't gonna be here. Heineke getting cut. Oh. What was his college name? I came in with college, what's his college number. Was. Oh, Ru was Russ, was it was it twelve? No, that was twelve. Oh right. God, no, no. I tell you what it was. I don't know what Russ is. Uh, yo, I'm comment section if if y'all if y'all know uh, Russ's uh college number, whether it's in Wisconsin or or NC State. You said so, somebody said know. number eight. Number eight. Oh, don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, he may be going to him. All right. 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 Brian, Brian people said he like he likes sweat from Texas. 16. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. He 16. was 16. Yeah. He was 16. 16? Okay. Hmm. Take that. Hmm. Bye, bye, Scotty. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I, I'll take 16 from Scotty and give him 15. Oh, don't do that. You know that that number cursed. You know that number cursed. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Todd, Todd said, uh, can y'all explain to me why the Falcons have a leadership structure like Home Depot? Terry is like like fifth in line. No, I don't think. Huh? What? Huh? Like, what? 
It's called yeah, a man. hierarchy for a reason. <laughs> it don't matter. Well, all, G- all GMs are like fifth in line. Yeah. You got your president, you got your CEO, and yeah, of course. That's, you got that's you, you had you had you had C you have CFO, COO, CEO. You talking about the football structure. You talking about yeah. football. Well, well, you know, but you, you know, you, I mean, you got, Todd, Todd, you got Todd president. Just question. Yeah. But Todd, you, you, Todd just answered his own question because he said Home Depot. Well, 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 well our owner is. Um, I'm sorry. It, I, I'm there's like, there is <laughs> it's, it's called no. Nah, it's one word. It's called hierarchy. That's it. <laughs> is it is it Home Depot doing pretty good? I think the owner, the owner owns Bruh. Home Depot. Blank owns Home Depot. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> now I'm just, I'm just playing with y'all. Listen, it said uh, Mafi said, let's talk about the late round picks for Wash wide receiver Brian Edwards and Van Jefferson. We're just trading wide receivers back and forth with them. We traded Brian Edwards to yeah, right. Brian, and they gave us. <laughs> <laughs> we play a hot potato with whoever won. Nah, look. <laughs> but go ahead, get to be a football Jeff. player. Oh, shh. Listen. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, Van Jefferson was running open on some of these plays, man, and they couldn't get him to rock. It's just that that one drop is what did him in when we was doing it, when oh, we was God. making that comeback. That, that, no, that did him. That one drop did him oh, in. God. One drop. And, 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 one and drop. Let me, let me, look, 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 look. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let me ask you a question now. Let me ask yes, you a question now. If yes, if had we can't have we we we, we had run we had run, run the piss out the ball in the beginning and then we had yeah. throw it to it to to whomever whomever's gonna try to get it at the at this latter half you got to make up what kind of culture you got that's the reason why these play like Van Jefferson missing drop because you got to go over that you got to practice that y'all got to go over there so if you don't have an identity like we spoke about early on and I was telling coach when you're in the military. When everybody, everything falls apart when you're doing your assignment, the identity is what pulls everybody back together and gets a refocus. So if you don't know what you are, you don't know how to operate. I'm good. You can right. get out my team. I don't care. Fuck, fuck all that. No. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, so I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to say work, he needs to stay here. I'm just saying now. <laughs> look, work, work, workflow Dre says, so why did we stop running the ball this year? Mm. Somebody answer me now that question. I, I, I need to an answer to that right there. I don't I can't answer that. I have no answer for that. Because Arthur liked to play with his toys. Mm. Man, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't like that, man. I don't like it at all. No, you <laughs> stop, like it. It. You stop that. <laughs> him him want to play with them toys. Okay. Him uh, was Mr. down there playing with toys. Mr. Doctor, so good. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike said no Zach Harrison today. Oh. Damn. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. Ch- Ch- Taekwon, it's on you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Do <laughs> your job. Oh God. All right. Uh, Van got ten catches, eighty-eight yards on the season. Bro, just ass. Just call the spade a spade. <laughs> oh God. All right. <laughs> Oh, Andrew G, new member. How you oh, Andrew. Welcome. Andrew G, welcome how you become a new me- Andrew, I'm disappointed in you, man. I am so dis- I'm not writing no more letters to your job. To- you know, no, can't do it no more, man. All right. Uh, let's see. We got another one here. It says, uh, why take Tyler out after that screen? He was on a roll. Because Tyler was, he needed oxygen. You ain't see what he went to that. <laughs> Bro, Tyler, <laughs> that look. Tyler, Tyler takes 10 yards to five, between five and 10 yards at a time. He didn't take a whole 70 yards. Yeah. That yeah, man like flashed before his eyes when he got in the end zone. He's not. <laughs> he's not that dude. Um, Matthew, oh, to answer your question, Matthew, uh, engine, engine, number nine. He's, uh, he's starting so, today. Shut up, so, Southside. There ain't no damn work right <laughs> Stop trolling, Southside. Uh, question, Eddie says, like, why didn't we give up a second for Sweat? Uh, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't valued at getting up in a second. We didn't give up no second. He was a, was he the free agent? Uh, no, uh, for Montez, Montez. Like, when um, when he was available at the trade deadline, you know, there was oh, rumors. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Yeah. 
Oh, hold on. We got another ten dollars. Oh my god, man. I appreciate the love of y'all. GD GD again. This goddamn, team is below goddamn. average. Goddamn, goddamn. He says this this team is below <laughs> average. Seven and nine record with losses to Washington, the Panthers, Cardinals, and the Bears. Don't hey, listen, don't forget Minnesota now. Right. The record is true, is a true indication of who we are. They are who we thought they were. Falcons fans are in denial. Future is bright, though. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we beat. Look, man, we beat ourselves. I mean, what, 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 what else do fans want us to say? We beat ourselves. We seen it. Like I said, when the last time you heard a Detroit Lions, Detroit Lions, mind you, say, "Hey, no, 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 no," because I'm not taking nothing away from what they did this season. But when you have a Detroit Lions team say, "Hey, we wanted to play those guys," you gave us this. They they punked us, man. That's Bro, I'm, I, look, man, that, that was a wake-up call. They punked us, man. But, um, oh, hold on, coach. It's 12.45. You, uh, you about to dip? I got to cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you and Ant, right? Y'all about to dip, right? Yeah, in a few minutes. Like All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Ant. Go ahead and say your goodbyes, man. And tell them where they're going to find you in the next 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, y'all already know. Y'all going to find me on my boy Coach's show doing the uh, play – on uh, a watch party. Hey, uh, look, it's the last game of the season, bro. We, it's like my, my boy uh, K Style says, we got to stand on business. That's not for any particular uh, player. That's for everybody. Everybody got to stand on business. Do your yep. job, like my brother Wine says. Do your damn job. That goes for the whole fucking team. That part. Here we go. And uh, coach, I just want to let you know. Um, I know I'm in the finals of the fantasy. You go ahead and take you're gonna uh, send me that DM so I can show you my address to send that ring because I am <laughs> winning today. Blackberry, you ain't shit. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna take that L today. I'm gonna win, and this is a shot at a certain somebody that's been sick. I ain't gonna mention his name. You've been ducking me. You've been ducking me, Locke. You've been ducking me. I see you next year in fantasy, man. I see you next year. It don't matter. It don't matter. I see you next year, but I want that ring, coach. If I if I lose, if I lose, I'm telling you, that's because they stole the vote in a certain somebody's name. <laughs> Listen, me and Blackberry, me and Blackberry had the same discussion yesterday. <laughs> I was like, hey, Blackberry, I, got, hey, to I, already, hey, I just got to put the address on the box right there. I got to. I already got. To. So, you, so next weekend, whoever wins can show it on the, on the show next week. Listen, so. listen, listen. Just make sure. Just make sure you don't Federal Express that because if he gets fired, you know the, oh, the price is gonna go up. The price is gonna go up, coach. Hey, oh. hey, 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 Magnus, if you do win, you do win. You might not get your ring till February with all that snow y'all gonna be getting up there. So yeah, just hey, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 oh God! Uh, here we go. Here we go. Um, but yeah, you can catch Coach uh, Coach on Chain. Subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. That if you don't feel like, well, I mean, Ice is going to be on commentary today. So, but keep it on both. Keep one on the computer and keep one on the screen. You know. Oh God, Brian Peoples. We got a uh, play to win. Don't worry about the Bucks game. From your mouth to God's ears, Brian Peoples. ATL Leo, you know I hate you because you said. <laughs> He said, Magnus, your Spurs ain't shit along with the mess. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't saying. What are you saying? <laughs> I know that. I just know that Damn. I got Vic, Vic on your mama. That's all mm. I need. Number one, seven foot five. That's all I need. That guy, that boy mm. can play. And, and let's build around him. Everybody else can't play. I know we garbage. Okay. Okay. Enough of that, ATL Leo. God, I God, I hate him. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eddie said, fan. Okay. He said, ahead. glad I subscribed to you. Let me see. Uh glad I wait, hold on. I messed up. He said, glad I subscribed to y'all. Show y'all don't sugarcoat nothing. And I appreciate how y'all be positive about our team. Win or lose, salute to y'all real talk. Hey man. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Just tune in. Tune in for every last one of them. Every Sunday is gonna be regulators. You know, subscribe. Juan got his show up and running. Friday, yeah, man. Every is seven days a week, man. So no matter whatever you want, whether it's like Braves, Hawks, you know, Braves, Hawks, Falcons, whatever you want, even the Georgia Bulldogs talk. And also subscribe to Champagne Confessions, man. That's with Maggie. So subscribe to all that, man. 
because every day of the week, there's something that you could watch with us, maybe one or two shows or even three shows during the same day. So you ain't got to worry about that. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, yo, Let me go yo Leo, here. shut up. You know what? We out of here. We about, <laughs> we, <laughs> we about to be out. Yo, uh, Juan, go ahead and plug your business. And uh, we about to be out of here in a minute. Hey, man, look, man, thank you guys. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys can catch me on YouTube at The Therapist, ATL78, on X at The Therapist, ATL. Listen, man. Make sure you catch our post game shows because, you know, we probably look, we either going to be cheering or we're going to be cussing one of the two. But we're going to make sure. Oh, and coach, like I said, make sure as soon as you get off of here, go check our coaches live show reaction because, you know, you hear coach cussing them out as they play. So <laughs> real time, real time. Real time. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but look, man, uh, look, we on here. All we want to do is seek the truth, make a difference. Y'all be good, man. Let me boom, boom, boom. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, find me on Coach Unchained, man. Make sure you go to Coach Unchained, hit the subscribe button, like it, share this video out today, and head on over to my channel, man. I'm going to go do this live show right now. And uh, that's what she's traveling some luck today, man. Play off the night. Oh, Let's just win the game. That's my thing. Just win the game. I don't give a damn. You, you, you play to win the game, Coach. That's you play to do. win the game. All right, Do man, wait, your man. job. I'll see y'all on, <laughs> on the other side. Peace. All right. Hey, hey, don't say don't say you do your job, uh, uh Juan, because uh you know Bill Belichick is uh rumored to be one of our coaches. You know uh -uh, what? Let me stop. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm, I'm not, not drinking, drinking the that either. No, I'm not drinking mm -hmm. that either. Because that means he gotta be GM too, which means we're gonna take a punter in the first round. Look, yes. look, 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 look. I'm not hanging my hat on Grandpa Belichick. I mean, I know he he did his thing, but no, mm -mm. nope. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, OG, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, we about to be saying our goodbyes, man. Go ahead and tell, you know, where they can find you. You know, plug your plug your show and all that, brother. All right, man. Y'all know uh, it's your boy Will the George Reaper, man. Y'all can find me on all platforms at that slogan right there, man. Make sure y'all check out my show, Everything Atlanta Sports, every Wednesday at 7.05. If y'all ain't seen what I did, go back and check out the recaps. Uh, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe my channel. You know what I mean? Uh, show love over here. Y'all know how I do it. I do that for fun with my brothers over here, man. But, uh, yeah, uh, catch me on everything AFN got going on, for sure. There we go. So, um, last but not least, just to answer just to answer your question, who we got right here? Somebody asked me that. Oh, Southside. Um, all right. Well, I like I like Keldon, Keldon Johnson. I also like um, Vassell, but are they that dude? Do they move the needle? I mean, Vassell does, but Kelvin Johnson, he's like a C6-5, but they try to put him at the four. I don't know, man. Like, we, we need a point guard so bad because Trey Jones ain't it. <laughs> like, plain and simple. I'm so sick of him. It's, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. So, in about another seven days, I should be wearing some jewelry. That's right, Blackberry. I am winning the fantasy playoffs. We are in the Fantasy Super Bowl this week. Yo, put a like up, put a thumbs up for your boy Magnus. Check it out. I'm going to add it up, and I'm going to talk major shit next week. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to talk so much, it's not even funny. Blackberry, I am sending out an invitation for you for next week. For next week, rain or shine, I want you here so that you can take your L in person. Everybody that's listening that's on the AFN, or on, on the AFN crew, Send that over to him because I know he ain't watching. He's probably flipping over his truck somewhere or whatever. I don't know. But this is your boy, Magnus. Today was the best day of your life. But to us, it was just Sunday. Engine number nine is starting. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. That's what I'll see you in the post game. Later, y'all. Later.